Hey, this is Kale, the Venom Teacher. I am so thankful for all the views I got on TikTok about the videos I posted doing uh, milking rattlesnakes for venom research. So I thought I'd make this YouTube video uh, talking about some of the, the reasons why. I had a lot of questions as to why we're doing that, what, what we're gonna do with the venom. So I'm actually working on a couple research projects right now. I'm working with Dr. Bill Hayes at Loma Linda University in California. Uh, studying different venom types of Mojave rattlesnakes in different regions. And I'm also working with uh, Mike Cardwell doing radio telemetry project with Mojave rattlesnakes. It's been real fun working with Mike Cardwell doing the radio telemetry. He is an expert in Mojave rattlesnakes and he just published a book actually this month on Mojave rattlesnakes. Uh, you can actually get it from uh, EcoWare and Publishing and I put a link to that website in the description below. Here we go looking for some radio tracked rattlesnakes. Uh, unusual, or well, maybe in the I was finding the septic. So we just found our first Mojave here. So this uh, rattlesnake has a transmitter surgically implanted inside of its body. So that's how we're able to find it. And then Mike will uh, record the data about it uh, for his research. Wow, isn't it beautiful? So here's our second one. The last one was uh, curled up in a hunting position. This one is actually out on the move. This one right here is, if you look close, you can actually see this about to shed. So its eyes will turn kind of blue like that. And here's another one curled up in in push position. These things are so amazing. I just love them. Come on. There we go. And here's Mike milking one of the Mojaves that we're using for the venom study that we're working on together. Okay. Over my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Piece of something. A piece of that, dude. Look at that. Oh, he's got a double fang on this side. Can you see that? Yeah. Come here, look at that. You can see the next fang coming in. Yep. I know you want to bite, so let's just do it here. Dang. Now Mike's going to pull the venom out so we can put it into a smaller container that is easier to transport to the lab. That is a lot of venom. Wow. There we go. There's all three venom samples. Mm -hmm. Then the last thing I do is I take the rattlesnakes back I find them and I miss them back to the wild. So for the last part of this video, I'm going to show you some uh, of the original videos I posted on TikTok and then some slow-mo too. <laughs> oh, wow. Holy crap. 